So, uh, thank you very much, Stan, for coming and talking to us today. Um, we've got lots of questions about your uh, your time as commissioning engineer um, with 10,000, 10,001. Um, I think you wanted to start off by talking a bit about how you came to be involved in the process and how, how the decision was made to build the locos. Yes, uh, towards the end of the war, uh, uh, our chairman, uh, Lord Nelson, and uh, Mr. Howitz went over uh, to um, America with the idea that uh, uh, they would get some information from them. And it, it just said they were looking at the local just looking, yeah. I, I have no other information what they did when they were out there. However, when they came back, they had decided that they will build up a team of engineers uh, with the idea of uh, producing diesel electric locomotives. And and you said that you uh, you got into the job almost by accident, when you well, yes, uh, it was shortly after that that uh, my chief at the time, he's the electrical engineer of being in charge of the Arich base. Mm. And he said, uh, I've been offered a job with English Electric. Uh, I said, well, that's very interesting. However, uh, after the interview, he decided that uh, he wouldn't take the job after all. And he never said why he, he didn't wish to do that. He said he was going back to the London Underground where he'd been working before. Uh, he, enjoyed, he was called up for the Navy. And he recommended you for the so, job? So, oh, I thought, well, I'm going to be having to look for a job very shortly myself, so that when I get demoted, and uh, here there's a fellow producing the job, and it looks as if it might be something that interests me. So, uh, I applied for the job and uh, got it. Excellent. So when you uh, when you started on the project, you said that they it was right at the beginning. They the only thing they had was the frame. So you you were involved right from the start. Uh, yes. The thing was that I then had to serve my apprenticeship with right. doing this uh, job, and uh, uh, they set me up in uh, uh, hostel in. Uh, in Coventry, uh, and uh, from there they used to uh, bus me into uh, uh, rugby, where uh, the uh, diesel works were at that time, and uh, then bus me back again. To, but the thing was, it wasn't a case of just looking at it, it was a case of getting your boiler suit on and getting cracking and working the, with the fellas on the sh mm. shop floor there. What I did see was, when I first went there, was they had this cast in there of a two-cylinder uh, V engine, but they were just finishing the, comp the uh, testing of a 16-cylinder yeah. engine. But that, that, uh, that naturally uh, aspirated at that time. And uh, they were going to uh, put turbo blows on mm, it uh, yes. at a later stage. And uh, at the time, I think they were thinking of making the turbo blows with another of the English electric factories. Mm. But actually, the when the time came, they had to uh, produce it. They ended up uh, doing the job, and um, I was sent to Brown Bovary, where they were getting yeah. the... Uh, because they, they had Brown Bovary turbos, turbos, but the later ones the had the, one, the Napier. Yes. Yeah. Um, we heard that 10,001 had Napier turbos um, from one of the Southern Trio in, in 1964, is what, oh. what I heard. But, oh. uh, we can't prove that at the no. moment. So you said there were six of you um, on the engineering team? About six of yeah. us, yes. Okay. But only... I thought it was travelling around. Actually, more than that, because Derby had its own team of engineers who, before we arrived, were doing shunters. Yeah. 
And you all had the nice uh, white overalls. Is there only a travelling one to, to do that? I, I always thought white overalls must be the most impractical colour. <laughs> Go and work on an engine, here's your white overalls. Yes. Yeah. They, they must have been... Well, it was a case of showing how clean the thing was, you see. Oh, OK, yeah. So you come out yeah, still still fact, white and you can yeah. say, look at that. Well, you did most of the time, yes. Excellent. You know, so, it's only when the thing's going wrong that they <laughs> get, get your eyes covered. Mm.